Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Ty Mizzle. You can watch my channel, Mizzle14. And I'm here doing the view of Pose. Alright, so season 2, episode 5. It was a nice little good episode. It gave, gave us a breather of the heavy emotional drama that we got last week with Candy passing away. And it seemed like the previews for next week will go right back to our emotional heartstrings. So I good we get this breather right now before we start getting the tissues again. I was like that, so... Alright, so everybody's talking about this Raven thing with Bandana's song Vogue. It's become mainstream, it's out there, it's putting the people, the the community in the limelight of that. She never originated Vogue, it's just that she took the idea, whatever, she sees it and then she just made it mainstream and everybody's like, want to do Vogue in on or something on that. So everybody wants to learn. So, there's a long line outside trying to get freaking classes of voguing classes so they could vogue like madonna so basically and you know ricky is doing some of the classes well i think he's doing the classes i don't know who else is doing it but he's doing a lot of classes and his class is getting booked up so so booked up like his class is full until like next four weeks so i was like gosh he is really doing it and everybody wants to learn voguing and voguing now so that's like income coming in for him of teaching people in the community voguing so he was in the classroom teaching people Vogue and one lady he was tell, telling her you got this you got to do this you got to get make your body flow and she felt very confident because he was encouraging her in doing this so after everybody left it was this lady that came in he said oh this is your first time he said it's obvious she said yeah i can see that but she said you know what i wasn't really coming here to really dance i came here because i'm a scout recruiter and basically i seen your dancing work and I wanted to put you in the front in the, front in the line and auditioning for Madonna's um, Blonde Ambitions tour. I said, oh, okay, Blonde Ambitions tour. And that was actually really a tour too. So I was like, and I heard that one of the person who was in Pose a couple of weeks, so people were making comments and I was reading the comments, that he was in Madonna, or I didn't I think he was in the video. I don't know about the tour, but maybe he was in the tour if he was in the video as well. But he was there. So it was like, this is like a reacting of the auditioning for that lead role, the lead dancer of the tour. And I was like, that's cute. I was really nice. So there was that. So, you know, Vicky got the same opportunity because Vicky, Damon, and a couple of people got that same opportunity with the Scott recruiter is recruiting people to be the top male spot for the dance, uh, for the dance um, tour. So I was like, oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. So, you know, Blanca is so excited. You know, Blanca, the mother's like, she's so excited for him. She says, this is an opportunity. Angel got his magazine. Not Angel. Yeah, Angel got the magazine and doing modeling. Google modeling. And she's doing good. She got the cover of the face cover of the makeup line. Else day. So she's doing good. You got the opportunity. You could do what you could put it out there. It's basically it's all about breaking barriers and get find the work and doing things and it would be, put your community in a line like that you could do things and not just this negative connotation that all y'all all about is sex and drugs and AIDS spreading y'all could do more about i'm um, showing the world your dance skills and arts and beauty and makeup and modeling you could do other avenues but just just that what they box you in so it's like a breaking the barrier a breaking the a breaking the ceiling that lets you limit y'all to what y'all could do and go past that so that's exactly she is like pushing for the children to do like be better do better and dream better and her dream and her optimism is spreading on them even though they might not feel it at the time they might not they might not feel hopeful or whatever but at the same time her encouragement and her undying love unforgiving love like it's so great to see that so she is encouraging Damon, like, listen, we, got, you got this, you got everything, it's auditioning. She said, oh, you got this, you got it, like, they say, like, you got this. But at the same time, it's like, she knows, like, whatever happened, you got to do it. But she said, hold up, hold up. You was not doing this audition if you don't get the blessing from your teacher, Helen, um, Helena. Remember, Helena got Damien the scholarship to be in the school to the role to get the um, degree. He got one semester left before he graduate. So he is senior in the class. And basically, she, she don't want him to mess this up. I mean, it's an opportunity. You might leave school, stuff like that, to do this. 
But she said you is not doing it unless she don't get the blessings from you. Now, if she said no, you finish the school. No doubts about it. I said, go ahead, Mama Blocker. Put your foot down. Let him know. <laughs> Shit. So that was that. So she, he in the class. And he doing a good job. Had another was trying to get the students like, listen, do this right. You got to do this sort of stuff. So at the class finish, she said, congratulations. Nice job in class. And I was like, he said, can I talk to you? And I got to buy a coffee. She said, okay, cool. So I sat down. And he told him about the opportunity about being on dishes for the Madonna's tour. There's an opportunity. He never get a chance. And he's so excited about it. And he said, I just hope to get your blessings. Cause my, uh, my mom told me I had to come and get your blessings. And you don't agree with that, that I'm not going to do it. But I just need to get your permission first. If you grant it, I'll do it. If not, that's all. She said, it's not like you make your mind. But she said, you know what? Because she got a soft spot for Damien. But she would say, you know what? Somebody gave me the opportunity to do like that because when I had the opportunity to dance, I forgot who she said she was dancing for, but opportunity to dance at a well-known place, her teacher thought it was crazy, but she said, you know what, it was showed you by doing it, it exposed you, it put greatness, and you will be great and influence, basically she said. So her teacher encouraged her to do it because she said, you know what, you being out there will show the world what you got. And I'm not going to stop that. So she's doing the same thing for Damien. She said, you know what? I'm not going to tell you no for follow a dream that it could put you out there. Could make you show the world that you got what you said. The talent. Show them what you have. And I'm not going to stop that. So do you. Do the auditioning. You can do well. I know you can do well. And. But she said, you know, you got to promise me. That once you finish the tour, you come back and finish the degree. And he said, oh, I promise, I promise. I said, see, that's the thing right there. It's like, she not going to hold him up for following your dream. Like, the also let him know that, come back and finish this degree, boy. Because you almost there. But she's never going to stop his dream. It's like, this is like, what's the opportunity? And what's, what's her to say no to his dream? And I like that. I really like that encouragement that she gave him. And all the excitement to go. So, it's also not only about Damien and Vicky and his day two lifestyles and how they growing up in the houses and doing this. It's also about the parenting style of Blanca and Electra because they was two different parenting styles and how they go about doing this. All right. So both Damien and Vicky got the opportunity. So they sitting down on the table telling his whole, they're telling their family about this opportunity. So Blanca family, they all excited. They happy for him. Angel want to be his manager and do things for him. It's all that stuff. Blanca's encouraging him. At the same time, Electra. She's so excited that she got the opportunity to even be so with. She said, oh, you're going to do this. you going to be And I could be there with Madonna. We can have break bread. We're going to have parties and stuff like that. So you got to do the thing, opportunity for me. So Electra is all about herself, which has always been about herself. Electra is all about herself. My block is encouraging Damon and saying, you there, you great. Do what you got to do. So basically, they both gave them money. Both gave them money to... The, um, big up themselves and also groom themselves so they could be looking apart and freshen up so they could do addition. So, Electra gave him a stack of money. He said, You got 24 hours to groom him, get him together, and everything, work him out. So, they practice in Vogue, Angel, um, not Angel, Poppy, and Damien with little push ups. I guess he gave him a haircut. I guess Angel, I guess she went out to get him an outfit or something like that. Whatever they did, they did it. They, they all, Damien up. While on Ricky's side, they were practicing voguing, got some outfit, got a haircut, shaving, so he did all that. So she see him, she said, listen, Electra saw him and said, oh, let me respect you. I said, oh, okay, okay. Electra said, all this time, she said, I'm not listening to one thing and I help y'all. Y'all do this shit. <laughs> but this opportunity will be good for me. All right? So you got to do this. So we got to make sure he good as he can win this. So I could be next to Madonna and have a party with her. I was like, oh my gosh, Electra. So, so they both got expected. And I said, okay. So Blanca's encouraged you to say, you know what? You got this. Whatever happened, we always going to be here for you. You going to do this. You going to be great. You going to be opportunity. You going to break the barriers. You going to be influencers, influencer, a role model for all the people coming after you. But do you, no matter what happened, we always going to love you. We going to be here for you. Meanwhile, Electra will say, listen. This opportunity is great for me, but you better not show your face to my door if you don't get this uh, audition, if you don't get that top spot. So basically, we'll kick him out if he don't show results. 
So I said, oh, okay. So then Ricky and Damien met, the, uh, met each other the first time after they broke up. No. Damien said he has been seeing Ricky at the ballroom scene here and there, but he had been sitting spinning on the couch, smoking and stuff like that because he never got over it a little bit. I know he still think about Ricky, but at the same time, he got to move on. And like I said, don't think I know you haven't been sitting on the couch being no moping around like that. This is the first time you haven't not been doing that because he's so excited about auditioning. He hasn't been really thinking about it, but he said, you never get over your first love like that. He said, oh, he's not my first love. My love, first love is dancing. But yeah, I say hi to him, but he never say anything to me. I said, because Ricky is, is Ricky is about Ricky. So basically, um, that was that. She said, do what you gotta do and keep dancing and love and it shows, it shines through. And whatever happened with Ricky, it will happen with Ricky. You gotta do you. Expand yourself. And that's what it do. So, they both was in the same group, group seven. They met each other at the auditioning and they said, oh, I know you will be here. It was good for you to be here. I know he's going to make it. That's why I started. He said he seen you two. It was the odds we've been together, the same group. So the best man won. And they both was basically coverage. Like Damien was more coverage than Ricky. And Ricky was coverage him. But Ricky was trying to do some coverage back and said, oh, you yeah, you two, all that stuff. And they were going back and forth. So they both got in the group. They did the number. Number was somebody else there. And he was like looking at them. And they did that thing. They did it. They did auditioning and all that stuff. They could cool. After that round, they were supposed to get a call back. So, Blanca was ready. She said, what's going on? Like She was pacing back and forth. He said, my way, you sit down. Like, come on, you, you're making me nervous. He said, well, they were supposed to call you back. Like, I need to know. Like, it was taking so long. He said, they said, supposed to let me know today. She said, okay, cool. The phone rang. She ran to the phone. He said, hello? And I was like, yeah, Damon, it's phone for you. Now, nigga, he took the long as <laughs> well. I said, why? Taking some slow motion to get to the phone. Like, I know it's so nervous. I know I would feel so great about that too. I'll be so nervous. Like, and Electra, um, Ricky told Electra that he got the call back. And he said, because we got the phone. She said, What does he say? What does he say? I got the call back. He said, Oh my God, that'd be so great. I'm going to be having a party with figure like, I was like, Girl, why? he just got it and you worry about yourself. I say, He tried to hug her. He said, Oh, thank you. She was like, I was like, oh, Electra. And then Blanca was like, oh my God, good. Because when he got on the phone, Damien made it seem like he didn't get it. And I was like, I'm about to get sad for him. I said, oh. And I was just, I just, just like that. I said, oh, no. But he said, got the call back. I said, you freaking, why don't play us like that? <laughs> so they hugged and it was like, oh my gosh, that was that. Um, I guess I've been preparing for the ball room because they had a category. The Vogue category at the ball. Rick is preparing, and he was with that there's a Chris that freaking blew up the spot that he had sex with um, Ricky in front of Damien and boasting about the shit. So that was that. He was in his old loft. He's not belonging with any house. So he's salty that he said, "No, you got all that stuff like you doing. It ain't gonna be going anywhere. Just spend thirty minutes in the bed so that with me." I said, "Oh my God, you just want some dick. That's what you want. All that stuff and craziness." He's getting upset. He said, oh, I, at least I'm not going to be in control. And I'm in my own independent. I don't need to be no man. Um, at least I don't have a master and all that stuff. He said, the master, he said, this is a worry about it. All craziness. Basically, it was conditioning Ricky. And Ricky had enough. They got him back and forth. He said, oh, they broke up. That little Chris is mad and everything because he didn't get no dick. Basically, he was mad. And he just realized that he upset because... Ricky was telling him that you got nobody with you and you be gonna be sad and miserable alone and I don't know why I left Damien for you and Damien was right, you was nothing about him. I would say shh, shh, shh. you basically deny you a fucker, but now you all confirming that you did something with this guy and now you upset because you're not with Damien anymore because he the one who clocked your ass and broke and broke it up with you. Can you deal with the messy ass queen who wanted to freaking boast that he slept with you all that stuff. So that was your own you. That's karma. Basically. So they broke up. So they both went back to the audition. No, they both went to the ball. And they went to the ball. It was supposed to be a Bush Queen. No, before that, it was a um, black and white silhouette kind of thing. Category. What was it? Yeah, one way old school black and white silhouette kind of um, theme. Good. Uh, two. Before that, I took that, 
before they talked about, before they did the thing, they was in the midst of doing that. Electro was telling them, listen, we got this opportunity and all that stuff, and we can need to do this. So in order for him to get that stop chance, we need to do something. So I was thinking, sitting here, and so WWCD, they was like, what? What would Candy do? I said, what would Candy would do? He said, they got a hammer. This got the girl got the candy hammer. She said she was never small, but she did some things. They got what she got to do. Got what she need to do. So what you got to do is hit them your foot real good, make it look like an accident so he won't be available to audition, and you got that spot. I said, oh, Lex, you got to do some dirty hand tactic, girl. Really? Really, chick? So he said, anybody who do that, we're going to censor. They will come with me, company me to elect um, Madonna party. I said, oh, okay. And that Madonna could be my BFF, basically, that she's saying. And it was that. So due to missing that ball, um, ball thing, Andrew and Poppy ran to get Blanca. They said, what's going on? What's going on? Went over there. One of the persons who used to be an evangelista, who, who one of the boys who kept freaking jumping to different houses, now he went to one tour, told him to say, listen, I know I will be training lecture for doing this, but she's doing way too far, and I'm not dealing with that. And AJ was, t um, Poppy was telling the whole story. He said, oh, he put a lot of hit on Poppy. He put a hit on Damien. She said, hit what? You gonna try to kill him? I said, the same thing. I said, a hit? You try to kill them, my son? I said, no. It was like, no, he tried to um, damage his foot and make him not participate in auditioning. So... Probably skip talking. He said, bitch, what the hell? Why am I here if you're going to keep telling the story? I laughed at that part. I would say, I sure, I sure right. If you're going to tell the whole story, so why you needing me to be here? It's like, shit, you asked me to tell it. So if you're going, if I'm going to tell it, let me tell it. Why are you telling everything, right? So that's basically, that was that. And he said, he said, W W D C D. He said, what we can do? He said, did she get the hammer? She said, yes. She ran and talked to Electra. Told lecture off. He said, "This uh uh, they doing this is opportunity for other and all that stuff." And basically, he said everything. And told her, "said You give me that hammer, and if anything happened, my son, I will kill your ass personally." All right, so so Blanca uh, lecture gave her the hammer. She said, "You spoil all my damn plans." And gave her the hammer, but she smiled about that because she know Blanca is gonna be the right to the shoes to tell her off. Cause you know, Electra wants somebody to tell her or something like that and let her know to remind her about things. So Electra just smiled because she said, you know what? You spoiled my plans, but she not upset that the plans are spoiled. She just wanted to know what Block would say to her. <laughs> and she's very um um proud of her daughter telling her off. So they said, okay, more going. And it was that category. Which Butch Queen Vogue Femme. I did have that was a call. And they did it good. <laughs> the duck, you know, the duck walk. <laughs> Pray tell. He said, Miss Duck Walk. She did her thing. And then Ricky did, um, then Damien did his next. He did a good job. And um, Ricky did his. They did the thing. Damien killed that. So he got all 10. because the boy got the category. Electra was mad. He said, Oh, you mad? What are you mad for? And she went out. He said, Oh, you mad? <laughs> So, got the category, Damien and Ricky's talk, and that was that. And I mind you, they did not get the Madonna um, spot. They gave it to the other guy who was looking at them, and I and Ricky, and then he got the thing, and he told them congratulations and stuff. And I was like, all right, he got the spot. So they would say, oh, there's nothing there, but they still covered each other and said, we got opportunities more than like that. He said, oh, you got this block opportunity. Um, enthusiasm ways with you and he said yeah that's it that's her but the Tyler Scott she said y'all ran out of here so fast I want to tell you you win some you lose some but I did want to tell you that like, it's a uh, auditioning for Solid Gold and it's a reboot and they want to somebody so I got your names over there and go ahead it's auditioning so they got over there to talk to the guy he said we're going to do a pilot for the reboot of Solid Gold and I didn't know Solid Gold ever existed so I look online and I said yeah that was actually a real show I said oh I learned some lot of shit because a lot of this time happening was I was a baby. I was born in 86. The so I saw the show, they said it ran from 1980 to 1988. So I was like two years old when the show ended. So I don't know anything about um, this show, Solid Go. I don't know about Soul, I know about Soul Train. Maybe that was probably inspired by that. But Solid Go, it was a really show. So it was like the re reboot. They did a pilot to it. They did the dances of the countdown with a little lady. 
and said she said hope she sees them again and it was nice cute Vicky went on um, Damien back and Damien said no let's be friends and Vicky still trying to get Damien back because he told Vicky that he broke up with Chris and he said oh okay he said it was all about you it's all like you also can you get me back and he said let's be friends and I said let's be friends and that's it but that was that y'all that was Pose it was a really good episode it was not going to be a long review but I just wanted to give you that and I said it was a good light review a light good episode it wasn't too emotional wait till next week we'll be emotional again y'all so that was pose y'all please like comment subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to y'all later all right peace